And thanks for joining us here at 4 o'clock. I'm Scott Reynolds. And I'm Fallon Glick. Louisville City leaders release a new tool in response to the DOJ investigation. As WDRB Stefan Johnson explains, the city has released hundreds of documents now so the public can see them, Stefan. Right. This is part of Mayor Craig Greenberg's campaign promise about transparency. We're working every day to make Louisville a safer, stronger, and healthier city. One critical ingredient of that work is trust. On Friday, city officials launched a new website accessible to the public. The website went live at noon today with information about 62 incidents referenced by the Department of Justice in its recent report. The website includes information about formal investigations and administrative reviews. Mayor Greenberg says this is another important step in his commitment to being transparent. As public servants, we all have to earn and keep the public's trust in order to serve them. And that starts with me and our chief of police. We took an important step in that direction yesterday with the announcement that we're reforming a new and independent Department of Records Compliance to process the backlog of open records requests. Today, we're taking another important step in that direction to strengthen trust and to let the community know that our administration is serious about transparency and accountability in city government. Coming up today at five and six, how you can see video of the incidents and we'll break down the 62 incidents and explain how you can find them on the website. With photojournalist Neil Johnson, I'm Stefan Johnson, WDRB News. Thanks so much, Stefan. These cases fall into eight main categories, categories we've covered uh, so much here on WDRB, cases involving police officers' use of force, examining those search warrants and the evidence used to get them, how officers executed those warrants, and knock and announce cases, street enforcement involving traffic stops and other roadside encounters, discrimination cases, First Amendment challenges involving protests and instances where rights may have been violated, in violations of the Americans with Disabilities Act, often focused on interactions with people who have mental health issues. Also, sexual assault and domestic violence cases. And our coverage of this announcement continues throughout the show. Coming up at 4.30, we'll show you some of the cases in the investigation that made headlines. And then at 5, we'll walk you through how to use the website for all of our coverage, including the full announcement. Head over to our website, WDRB.com.